Honeys, thank you so much for being here today. Uh, this week, what we're doing and what we're doing for every first week out of the month is keeping ourselves accountable to each other. So we're showing up for our workouts and I'm doing them in kind of like a vlog style, just following the schedule that we already have for ourselves. And this is hopefully gonna get you a little bit more motivated and inspired to get your workout in today, even if you weren't planning on it. Today, Amaya is, she's been um, going through a little bit of like teething symptoms. She's been drooling a lot and she's been really like close to me. And so she hasn't been really napping unless she's on me. So today I'm going to be working out with her on me. We are gonna be doing a booty, thighs, and legs workout. This is a 10 minute beginner express legs workout. The other workout today, I believe, was a 10, 12 minute abs or cardio workout, but I, that one's a little bit too bouncy to do with her on me. She's already sleeping, so I was like, I'm not gonna skip my workout, I'm just gonna do it with her on me. So I'm gonna use her as a little weight today. Um, and my coworkers, right now we're at work, my coworkers, they're out on lunch, so I'm just taking my time today to get in that extra movement, to get my body moving, use Amaya, my circumstances as motivation, as a way to add more resistance as well, and um, so that she stays close to me while we're working out. So right now on my phone, I have Grow With Joe Home. This you can mirror to your smart TV. So that's what I've done. I've just mirrored what I have here. I'm gonna make it full screen afterwards so that we can just follow it on the TV and see it full screen. Hi, Kira. Should I just, oh. It's okay, what's up? Should I just keep the door closed? You can yeah. come through if you want, it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, can just keep it. you can just push it all the way. Yeah. All right, they're out on lunch. Okay, so I'm just going to make this full screen for you guys. You could check out Grow With Joe Home if you're wanting the full schedule and you wanna follow it day by day. What makes it really, really easy is that when you're in the schedule version of Grow With Joe Home, it brings you exactly to today. So any day that you check it out, any moment you check it out, it's like, this is today's workout. This is what everyone's doing together. So um, this one, seventh, there we go. We're gonna open it up in full screen. You're short on time. This is the workout for you. All you have to do is you put your mind to it. Oops. There we go. Okay, so Amaya's here. I have to like use my hand as a little support for her neck right now. But you're gonna see when I have the weights, I may not use them for everyone. The goal today is to get our booty and legs activated. And just get some movement in. We're opening up our hips with this movement. It's not gonna be easy doing this, but it's always gonna be worth it. Okay, let's do a curtsy. Curtsy, nice. You can take it slower or quicker, depending on what you're able to do. Slow it down. We're gonna go into a squat, then kick out. Squat, kick out. That's it. Kick out. Oh. Ah. Ah. There we go. If you're not already working out with me, get up. You don't have to have weights. Use what you have available to you. Do a squat and step out. This is your opportunity to take 10 minutes out of your day. Get that heart rate up. Feel more accomplished, feel strong, feel capable, and to continue your streak. Sometimes what I like to do in order for me to stay motivated is count a streak. So I could do that on 
go to Joe home. And that helps me be like, okay, at least I'm gonna do something today. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be a workout in your living room. It could be outside, you go for a walk. But every day trying to get that consistency in, trying to move your body and get closer to your goals. Whew. Amaya is, I think 15, probably 16 pounds now. She's gonna be four months on uh, Monday. So, she's getting up there in the way. Oh, she woke up. And knee up, out to the side, and knee up, out to the side. Hey, baby, how are you? You're such a good girl. 10 minute workouts are a really great way to just get it done. Not think too much about it, just get it done. Make sure you're breathing. Hey, sweetie. Amaya loves being on me. Any of you newborn moms or moms in general, you know, they get to this point where my mom calls it, what does she call it? Uh, making strange. And I don't know if that's like an official term, but that's the term she uses to say that like, she doesn't want to be with anybody else. She like makes strange with anybody else that's holding her. <laughs> so, I'm kind of in the thick of it with that. <laughs> Cause I can't shower without her crying the whole time and I feel bad and there's that mom guilt. Let's split your legs like this. We're gonna go down into a lunge. So maybe you're doing this workout with your baby on you or close to you so that they don't get sad and cry. Just know that anything you're doing, even if you do half this workout, that counts. That helps build your confidence that you can continue on your streak. Oh, I feel this. I've seen a lot of you in the comments in the community ask for more weighted workouts. So, ask and you shall receive. And maybe we'll do some more baby wearing workouts that are like specific for wearing your baby. If you think that's a good idea, comment below. Let me know that that's a good idea. Or maybe you're not a mom and you just prefer more weighted workouts. Or workouts using things around the house if you don't own weights. So let me know in the comments or in the live chat. And I'll get to work. Don't worry, I listen. I see your comments. I don't always have the opportunity with such a huge community to always be answering all the comments, but just know that I do my best to read them because not only does it give me new direction for what next workout I'm gonna do, it also really encourages me. Anytime any of you say, you know, my life has been changed because of movement and working out with you, Joe, or I've lost this much weight doing these workouts with you, that just like gets me so excited and fired up to keep going and keep creating more content, more easily accessible workouts that'll get you feeling your best. Okay, I'm really feeling this burn. Really, really feeling it. Oh, this 15 pounds right here is not easy. He's so cute. Ooh. Oh. Oh. My legs are already screaming. You'd never know that this is only 10 minutes, right, baby? Okay, so we're gonna do a good morning. With this one, you're gonna push your hips all the way back and then push them forward. I feel like a lot of us, we just try to like lean forward for this movement, but I want you to focus on thinking of there's a wall behind you and you're trying to reach it with your butt, pushing your hips back, 
and then coming forward and squeezing at the top. I like to put all my weight in my heels. In any leg dominant exercise, you wanna do that. Put all your weight in your heels. And when I was doing strength and conditioning with athletes in university, the coach would always say, it should be like you can swipe a credit card underneath your toes. So there should be enough room for you to be able to, you know, your toes shouldn't be planted and gripping into the ground. All the weight should be in your heels and you should be able to swipe a credit card below your toes. Always think about that when we're doing leg dominant or glute dominant exercises. That's gonna get you even more of a result and it's gonna help you with your mind to muscle connection. Oh, all those pulses. All right, we are already done the workout portion of this workout. We're gonna do some stretches. With this quad stretch, I want you to always think about pushing your hips all the way forward. As you do that, you'll feel even more of a stretch through the front of your quad. Push your hips forward and try to maintain your balance. Let's switch sides. Right here. Amaya, you're being so good. You're such a good girl. That was a nice, quick lunch break workout. Let's get down low. Feet are wide. You're gonna feel your hips open all the way up. Ooh, that feels good to actually stretch your hips out. Wow, there's a comment on the screen that says, this person was down 75 pounds, another person. You changed my life last year, I lost over 50 pounds. I cannot tell you how much you impacted my life. Wow. I'm just gonna do this one hitting my knee right here. Modify when you need to. There will be times on your journey where you can't do the full exercises. And I ran into that when I had this postpartum period and my last postpartum period. I definitely was in a place where I couldn't do every single exercise, but I just kept trying and doing what I could and eventually I was doing what I wish I could do from the beginning. So if there's anything that you take from this workout, do what you can with what you have. Do it now, don't wait till tomorrow. Push yourself in every aspect that you can and you're gonna see amazing results when you get consistent. I always say you can get consistent. When you get consistent, you're gonna see true and lasting results. What does that mean? It means that if you're not consistent, your results, you might be able to lose two, three, five pounds in a week, but the results won't actually be true. You're just losing water weight or you're just losing a little tiny bit that, of fat. But when you're consistent over time, you are gonna have results that last, that stay, that stay with you. It's not like you're gonna have another meal and then your water weight's gonna come back and your weight's gonna come back up. When you get consistent, you will see the results happen over time. Sometimes it's not always weight, weight change or body change. Sometimes it's your attitude that changes. Sometimes it's your mindset that changes. Sometimes it's how you feel, how confident you are. There are so many results, and we talked about this yesterday in our last uh, workout that you can look forward to. And even when you're not seeing change right now, every single day you can work on one specific part of that change, which is inside. So great job today. Thank you for joining me for this lunch break workout. Um, Amaya is back to sleep. So mission accomplished. We got our workout done. Amaya was happy the whole time. And tomorrow we're going to be coming back. If you want the full schedule and you want to join us for the Walk the Weight Off Challenge that we're doing this month, we are walking 20 miles in two weeks. So if you wanna be a part of that and you wanna accomplish 20 miles this month with us, join us on Grow With Joe Home. It's just growwithjoe.com. There's a link in the description for you to join. And let me know down below your thoughts on this workout and if you wanna see more strength-based workouts. I'll see you tomorrow.